we're doing a quick little escape to New Hampshire. Allie booked a really cool little spot, kind of a birthday celebration. We're gonna do a sunrise hike. We've been hiking a lot around here, getting our legs a little bit ready, so <coughs> it's gonna be fun to do some actual hikes. Maybe swim? <laughs> oh, that's the thing. It's supposed to be 80 degrees today. It's mid-April and we're in sandals and shorts. It's I'm gonna shorts. be like that all day thick. This is a really nice place overall. Great little spot. It's cool, there's a bunch of old VHS tapes and this is the earliest we've ever got to an Airbnb. So maybe we'll do some painting while uh, the sun sets. It's a nice little west facing porch. Maybe order a pizza tonight. And then we gotta wake up at three in the morning, something like that to do a sunrise hike. One of my favorite feelings in the world is just being out on a trail for eight hours for the whole day with nothing to do but put one foot in front of the other. Allie and I love spending time in the White Mountains, and we usually try to make it up here a couple times a year. So when she told me she wanted to do this as a birthday present, I was thrilled. Oh my god, wait, there's one literally right next to us. Seriously? Yeah. I wonder if it's open. She knows I would take an experience over a material object any day. And after a long winter, dedicated time outside in the sunshine in the mountains is very much welcomed. And we'd get to do things which we don't have much space or time back home for, like paint. And it's fun to stimulate your mind with different creative mediums. We had been eating pretty well back home, but this was a birthday trip after all. And so what better than pizza and old VHS tapes?
And I must say, this version of Babe was one of my favorite movies in a long time. And then, in the wee hours of the morning, we climbed through the darkness and eventually caught the glowing crescent moon, which nearly looked fake in person. What time is it now? Uh, wow, and the moon? The weather was unbelievable for April. And even before the sun rose, I was able to hike in just a long sleeve and shorts. We ended up losing the trail for a bit after we reached the bedrock. And while we were retracing our steps, the sky began to turn pink. And we were worried we'd miss the sunrise from the top. This last stretch is very tough. You've got to stay on the old packed part of the snowshoe trail or else you just sink in up to your knee. It's actually dangerous and it's very narrow and slick and it's been going on for a while. But we are very close to the top and the skyline is orange. Time for the spikes. And though we caught a couple glimpses of the pink sunrise mountains, the sun was awake and golden by the time we reached the top. Which was glorious in every way. Though next time, we'll plan to leave a little earlier. Spring birds were dipping and diving and chattering in the new day's warmth.
portable porridge. Portable porridge. And Allie made strawberry hiking snacks that really hit the spot. We got six and a half miles in, which is such a good feeling. And now we're gonna see what other things we can get into today. went on a nice drive over the Kankamangas in the sunshine, and Allie really wanted to find a place to swim, which we eventually did. And it was incredibly refreshing before our favorite dinner spot. day, we were gifted with more golden glory. We could not have asked for better weather on this trip. And when things like that line up with your travels, it's important to acknowledge it and be grateful. in a good while but I wanted to give you a quick update because for the first time ever in two or three years we're running a sale all of my spring blends winter blends and even there's some leftover fall stuff my friends over at Fogbuster Coffee Works are looking to clear out their warehouse I mean, you can get any blend you want and I've got a bunch of different ones I've got decaf unflavored like this Sunday bloom these are both unflavored and then there's plenty of good flavored ones there's the legendary red october so we're running 15 percent off on all blends for one week only if you're wondering about my coffee it's not just some cheap product it is literally the best coffee that you can make it's made by Fogbuster Coffee Works in Western Massachusetts. They're a family-owned business. They're small. I've met all the people that work there. I see how it goes down, see the passion in what they do. But what makes it so unique is that it's air roasted. Traditional coffees, most of what you buy on the shelves is made in a drum roaster, and that burns all of the chaff and the particulate, and it puts it in the blend, and that's why you get kind of that bitter burnt taste. With air roasting, all the chaff gets blown out. It's very clean, it's very pure. You're only getting the flavor of the bean. And these guys get the absolute best beans that you can buy. It's all fair trade, organic. They go down to South America and meet with the farmers. My coffee is something that I stand behind wholeheartedly. I'm not just saying it as a sales pitch. You literally can't 
buy better coffee. When you buy the coffee and when you drink the coffee and share it with people, you're not only supporting this channel and these stories, but you're supporting a small family-owned business in Western Massachusetts. The Pierce brothers are such cool people. It's like a big family there. I just know that it would mean the world to those guys if you could help them clear out those shelves. This thing's really barking, huh? If you're ever wondering where to find my coffee, it's always in the link in the video description. You can just go to troutandcoffee.com, scroll down a little bit, it'll say air roasted coffee. Click that, it'll take you to the Fogbuster website. With that said, it's early today. It's actually, I thought it was gonna be rainy, but it's uh, beautiful sunshine, so. I don't know, we might try and find a sugar shack today. We're both pretty fried from the hike yesterday, even though we did a little bit of training beforehand, it wasn't not enough. We'll probably just look for something nice and easy today, try and flush out the lactic acid. No matter what we do, I'm just grateful to be out here, so. So we loaded up on a great big breakfast, and someone working there suggested a waterfall hike to us. And we decided we'd check that out, but got distracted along the way. And eventually, we made it to the trail and were immediately greeted by the roaring waters.
And in the end, this was one of the best waterfalls that either of us had ever been to. And we talked about how much fun it would be to come back in the summer and spend a day swimming in all the different pools. And though we've got a busy year ahead, we've learned that making time for trips like these helps keep the scales of life balanced. <laughs>